Hello everyone, welcome back to World of Pharmacology. Today we are going to look at the topic drugs for cough. Now let us see what is cough and how coughing is produced. Simple sense we can say that coughing is body's defensive mechanism against irritant matter. Medically, we can say that cough is a protective reflex which helps to expel irritant matter from respiratory tract. And how coughing occurs? It occurs due to stimulation of mechano or chemoreceptors in throat, respiratory passages, or stretch receptors in the lungs. Once this irritant matter get attached to mechano or chemoreceptors, these receptors send impulses through the vagus and glossopharyngeal nerve to the cough center in the medulla, which produce cough. Cough can be classified as productive cough or non-productive cough. Productive cough is also termed as useful cough. It is called productive because it is associated with a large amount of sputum, while non-productive cough is called as dry cough as it does not have much sputum. This is a flow chart showing the mechanism of cuff production. So the cuff stimulus get attached to the receptors. From the receptors, impulses are passed through efferent nerves to cuff center, that is medulla. From medulla, signals are passed through efferent nerves to produce cough. Now let's study about how cough is treated. Following are the drugs that we use for the treatment of cough with symptoms. First one is pharyngeal democent. These are the drugs that soothe the throat and reduces incoming impulse from the inflamed or irritated pharyngeal mucosa. And the drugs include lozenges, cuff drops, glycerin, and licorice. Expectorants, they are also known as mucokinetics as they drive the cuff out from the chest. They are bronchial secretion enhancers and the drugs under that category are sodium or potassium citrate, potassium iodide, guaifenesin, balsam of tolu, wasaka, and ammonium chloride. Mucolytics, they are called as mucolytics as they thin the mucus and the drugs in, included are bromhexine, ambroxol, acetylcysteine, and carbocysteine. Third category is antitussives. They are also known as cuff center suppressant as they act as they act centrally. And the classes are opioids, which includes drugs codeine and falcodine, non-opioids, and the drugs in the are noscapine, dextromethorphan, and clofentanil. Third category is antihistamines. The drugs involved are chlorpheniramine, diphenhydramine, and promethacin. And fourth is adjuvant antitussives. They are bronchodilators, salbutamol, and terbutaline. As I told in the earlier slide, demulsions are a class of drugs that soothe the throat and reduces incoming impulses produced from inflamed or irritated pharyngeal mucosa. Thus, they provide symptomatic relief in dry cough from throat. Examples are lozenges, cuff drops, glycerin, and licorice. Expectorant class of drugs are believed either to increase the bronchial secretion or reduce its viscosity, thereby facilitating the removal of sputum by coughing. Example of bronchial secretion enhancers are sodium or potassium citrate, potassium iodide, guaifenesin, balsam of tolu, wasaka, and ammonium chloride. Mucolytics are also the class of drugs that comes under the category of expectorants. This mucolytics makes the sputum thin and less viscid so that it is easily expectorant. So let us see how they make the sputum thin and less viscid. Let us consider bromhexin. This bromhexin depolymerizes the mucopolysaccharide that is present in the sputum directly or by liberating lysosomal enzyme. These lysosomal enzymes break the network of fiber in tenacious sputum 
and thereby the sputum is expectorated. Antitussives. Antitussive class of medicines suppress coughing. So they are also known as cough center suppressants. There are two ways to suppress cough, centrally and peripherally. The drugs that comes under the class of antitussives are opioids. Examples of opioids are codeine and folcodine. And non-opioids include noscapine, dextramethorphan, and clofendino. We know that this cuff is produced from cuff center in the medulla. So the mechanism of action of opioids is that they act on the cuff center in the medulla and thereby suppress the cuff reflex, whereas non-opioids numb the stretch receptors in the respiratory tract and therefore impulses won't be sent to the cuff center in the medulla. Thereby, they prevent the cuff reflex being stimulated. This antitussive class of drugs are used to stop cuff in non-productive cuff, but they are contraindicated in cases like asthma, COPD, hypersensitivity, head injury, and pregnancy. So they should be avoided in such cases. The use of antitussives should be avoided in such cases. And the next class of antitussive is antihistamines. These H1 antihistamines provide relief in cough because they have a sedative and anticholinergic action, but they lack selectivity for the cough center. And the drugs included are chlorpheniramine, diphenhydramine, and promethacin. Bronchodilators are used only when bronchoconstriction is associated with coughing and not routinely. In people having bronchial hyperreactivity, stimulation of pulmonary receptors trigger both cough and bronchoconstriction. Bronchodilators relieve cough in such individuals. Examples are salbutamol and terbutamol. Thank you for watching.